Actually, looking south of there in the Caribbean Sea is still that spot that we've been talking about with a low chance of development. It doesn't look like this will really develop or organize a lot, but this will generally move to the north and northeast. I feel like we've been saying this for so many days, but we kind of have seen it so far out that yes, we're still talking about this moving away from our area. So low chance of development. That's the one closer to us. But here is Hurricane Epsilon, which is now a major hurricane. It's a category three storm. And look at this eye. Very, very easy to uh, spot on our satellite imagery here. You can see it's rather uh, large with our uh, cloud cover really extending all the way to Bermuda right now, even though the storm is off to the southeast of Bermuda. And there are tropical storm uh, watches and warnings in place for Bermuda because it will skirt by not a direct hit, but will probably bring some tropical storm conditions there starting late tonight and into tomorrow. So Hurricane Epsilon gusts are of 140 miles per hour. This was a quick intensification winds 115 miles per hour and notice that it will move off to the north and after getting so of near Bermuda, it will eventually move out into the northern Atlantic with cooler waters and become extra tropical. Eventually, this is the fourth major hurricane this year. We had Laura, Teddy, Delta, and now Epsilon. Let's hope we don't add any more. At least there's nothing out there besides Epsilon and that one other spot that looks likely to develop or looks like it will be something to watch. Otherwise, things are quiet.